and welcome once again to Fort Collins, Colorado, the Qdoba Event Center for another episode of NRW Charge. I'm Lucas Bradwell alongside Charles Duffy. And tonight, Charles, we know that Commissioner Titus is ready to make a decision about what the number one contender, when he will be getting his title shot. What will Commissioner Titus have in store for him? You know, Lucas Bravo, we never know what the commissioner has in store for us. But I do know that we will have another match in our tag team tournament here tonight. That'll be awesome as the Left Coast Gorillas will be taking on Pauly B and Larry Butabi. And also, we have the NRW Lockheads in action as Angel Trinity takes on Ellen Noir. That's here tonight. We've got more great action still to come, so stay tuned. This is NRW Charge. And please welcome the Gothic superstar, Ronan! Well, and we might not have to wait too much longer to see what Commissioner Titus will have in store. Ronan, he's here. The number one contender, Ronan. Ronan's been put through the ringer as of late just to get that number one contender opportunity. Again, here in Fort Collins, Colorado, the Qdoba Event Center, I'm Lucas Bradwell. Charles Duffy will be joining me momentarily. And I don't think I heard you guys correctly. One more time for me now. And what, what a way to kick it off, Charles Duffy. Oh, that's what I've oh, been yeah. missing. Let's recap here. A few weeks ago in this very ring, this very building, I came out and said, I want a title shot. Everyone else has been getting it. I figure it's my turn. Then Taterhead comes out, says I gotta take on the monster Hunter Gray. Yeah, Hunter! Woo! I'll, I'll give him that, I'll give him that. Challenge accepted, challenge conquered. Yeah. I come out the following week. Where's my shot? Yeah. Who comes out? and says, I'll consider it. Exactly. So then he puts me in a handicap match against the Canadian Pitbull, Eric Angel, and our NRW champion, oh, excuse me, Stefan Lecroix. A little throw up in his mouth when he said that name. Challenge accepted, challenge conquered. Now it's time to put up or shut up, Titus. Yeah! Uh -oh. It's my turn, and I want my title shot ASAP. Uh oh, we're gonna get an answer from Titus here, Lucas. And I don't. There's no way he can get out of it this time. There's no way that he can screw him. I, and, and there's Lawrence Ritz, the executive producer of TV production, He's kind of watching him. Get It can't, it can't, he sipped, what is, how is that? He sipped, I don't Well, it's like deja vu. You come out here to rain on my parade and suddenly I want potato chips. Oh. Hold on one second. Welcome to MRW Charge! God, thank you so much for that. It, you know, it makes my heart just, oh. you guys, Treat me so well, I really do appreciate it. You deserve it. Now, Ronan, I stood in this ring last week. I actually did the ring announcing for that match. And I said that if you won, you'd be number one contender. Ladies and gentlemen, the number one contender for the NRW Championship, 
the Gothic superstar, Ronan. There you have it. Well, it's official. At least he's, he's not going to screw him up. ASAP. That. Look, we will go to my office. We'll talk about when. All right, we'll get it taken care of. Not out here in front of all these people, all right? Number one contender, man of my word. Well, at least he's being professional. Tonight. Tonight. Hey, I, by I the way. It. I appreciate it. I think the crowd wants a title shot, maybe tonight even. You guys want it tonight? Well, the, fa the fans decide. You know, a, lot a in good the friend of mine once said, "Never give away for free what you're willing to pay for." So you're not getting it tonight. We'll talk about when you're going to get it in my office. Let's go to my office right now. Oh, before I forget, <laughs> I did. Mr. Ritz tell you, good luck next week. I. I I wish you luck in your match. Next week? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mr. what Ritz? next what, week? What did you keep from us? What do you got now? I, 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 I've met your challenges. Now it's time to pay up. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. I just wanted to make sure you knew that pay up, pay on next week's episode... If everybody would be quiet, then he'd... Explain. You're defending the number one contendership in a gauntlet match. Defending it? Why should he have, have a nice day. number one title? He's got the number one contender. Because that's what the fans want, and it's going to be good TV. Oh, man. Everything should be on the line. A belt, a I can spot. do it? Well, you know what? You want to throw another one at me? Well, that's just fine. I don't care who you throw at me. I've already taken on some of the best in this company. Some of the best in Colorado. So, when I beat your challenge, yeah, you heard me, when, May 30th at Chatfield High School, I get my shot for the NRW title, because as I've said over and over again, it's time for this company to have a champion it deserves. He's, he's, he's counting chickens. Well, you heard me. Never broken, May 30th. Did I stutter, Never broken. Chatfield Did I stutter? High School. I don't think so. That's our big fall event. Do it, do it. Spring event, do I mean. Would you believe You're summer? Well, it's sure. May, May 30th. Done. That's not quite summer. Done. Oh, are you poor delusional man? Well, well, I guess y'all heard it. <laughs> y'all think I could take on a gauntlet? Yeah. A, a gauntlet you think I'm gonna keep my number one contendership? Unbelievable. You think I'll be the next NRW champion? Some polls on the well, your wish is my command. Well, next episode, the gauntlet match, number one contendership on the line. Ronan puts it up. Well, we have more NRW charts still to come. Stay tuned. The Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy is the only establishment in Colorado to get professional wrestling training from professionals with ties to major promotions available nowhere else. Founded in 2014 by Mercury Fitness in support of NRW Sports Entertainment and in partnership with Extreme Gym 24-7, the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy offers a training program that focuses on the full professional wrestling experience, including proper fundamentals, in-ring technique, cardio conditioning, and much more. At the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy, you will also have access to Extreme Gym 24-7's facility and the opportunity to attend NRW's bi-weekly live, charged ITV tapings and major events, getting up close and personal with world-class talent. If you are serious about becoming a professional wrestler, then the Mercury Pro Wrestling Academy is the place for you. Located at Santa Fe and Oxford inside Extreme Gym 24-7 in Sheridan, Colorado. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a tag team contest set for one fall. Introducing first. There is another at the combined weight of 343 pounds. The team of Polly B and Larry Butabi. Good TV. Now we do know that the. Tag Team Champions will be decided at Never Broken as well. We just don't know who those teams are going to be, but... And this is yet another all-important match in that Tag Team right. Tournament, Lucas Bradwell. Um, you know, the, the 90Z program, 
Well, it's has has definitely shown an immense improvement. Look at the physical specimen that Larry Butabi has I will, I will has say, I, it, the the chest hair has gone away. You can actually see some some definition there. I I got to give it up to uh, Polly B. Maybe the 90Z program isn't a bust after all. Two months. It's been two months since I took this man under my wing. Since this guy's been a part of the Polly B 90Z fitness program. And I tell you what, look at him. Take off that vest. Show off your pecs. Doesn't he look just amazing? Uh, Such a big change in well, the past two months. It's an improvement. If you guys yeah, sign up Jack for Polly B like 90Z, you, you can look just like him and you can look just as good as me. Exactly. Well, like almost. So, but for the minute, hold your credit card steady and get your earplugs ready because this guy wants to sing. Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> Step inside. Walk this way. You and me, baby. Hey, hey. I said, pour some sugar on me. Pour some sugar on me. Oh, yeah, baby. Some earplugs on me, please. I, I can see the internet rating ah. spiking. Thank God for the gorilla. And their opponents for this evening at a combined weight of 485 pounds. The team of Hoodlum and Anaya, the Left Coast Gorillas! Oh my goodness, Kidoma Center here exploding for the Left Coast Gorillas. And the crowd, they are. Yeah, they are jacked up for the Gorillas. They are jacked up for this tag team match as part of our tag team. What do you, what do you think, Justin? Is that not good TV? LCG! 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 All right. Chance here in the Qdoba Event Center. Larry Butabi, you come out here and you sing your song every single week and the crowd loves it, right? But the people in the back, all the wrestlers, they're, out, they're, they're back there laughing at you. The gorillas, we love your music. We, I have it on iTunes. Really? Yeah, no it's way. awesome. iTunes? You know, That's I was in the back iTunes? with Hoodlum. Yes. We were working on a little something. Really? We, 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 we were going to sing our own song just because you inspired us. Really? Hoodie, Hoodie's going to start it, though. He's going to start off? Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. And uh, that... Is uh, that is a uh, very, there you go. Holy cow, that would that's turn out the lights, the party's over. This is Jerry Reed. Tommy is out like a light. You can call him that, well, yeah. But when you're in the number one to be the number one contender for the Tag team championship. You got to. You got to be business. Okay, you can't yeah, be a comedy team. And, uh, <laughs> but when the fans have spoken, they gave him a ten on the comedy. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but Tommy looks like he's uh, ready for this matchup. Hot tag by Keith. What you doing, y'all? That's good TV. Keep the match going. We are underway. Well. Oh. And the Gorillas, they are right in the thick of things in this tag team tournament. They are currently, I believe, in third place. They are, are right there in the mix with Diorm and Dangerously Handsome. Pauly B and Larry Butabi definitely have some work to do. Do you look at the teamwork of the Left Coast Gorillas? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, wow. What a maneuver. That was beautiful. Almost a guillotine leg drop there. What One, a two. Move. Just a two count. Surprise, Pauly B showing a little hard there. Keep it out. Oh, what a throw by Anaya showing the power. Two. Once again, Pauly B able to kick out. Uh, 
now, Pauly B doesn't really have anybody to tag in. It's Utami still out on the turnbuckle there. Right, it looks like uh, it looks like Inner Sandman was more was appropriate. Beautiful vertical suplex. You know, Lucas Bradwell, I don't agree with much that Ritz says, but Batavi is bad TV. Oh, and, uh, this guy's no good. Look at this. Batavi just got tagged in on him. He has no clue where he's at right now. Yeah, he's still on. Oh, oh wow. he's on Dream Street. He's back on Dream Street again. I guess Lawrence Ritz was checking on the, the well-being of Larry Batabi. This has been all Left Coast Gorillas so far. Lucas, answer me this. If Mr. Ritz is our director of TV, why does Butabi keep coming out here? Yeah. I, I want... He, I hold him responsible for this. I do too. Oh, face first goes Butabi on the mat. And roll over one, two. Oh, Butabi able to kick out. Wow. Well, you know, we've, we've seen Larry Butabi able to, to put on some good showings in the past. Look at that. Oh. I didn't know Butabi can do a head we did see at New Year's Revolution that Larry Butabi took on Sarge. Oh, that was a great matchup. Oh, look at this. The referee distracted. There we go. We're getting some double teamwork. I mean, Polly B taking some liberties on the Naya. Oh, these guys need any advantage they can get here against the Gorillas. Oh, look at this. They all look like oh, be a spinning head center. What a what nice a counter by Naya. That was a great move. Come on, Butabi. Wake up, attack! Trying to make a tag to Hoodlum. There it is. And now, it's going to be Hoodlum and Polly B. Oh, big, big back, back elbow. Running clothesline. Oh, drop kick got a lot of elevation on it. And a knife comes in. Oh, man. Lays down Butabi. What was that? It was almost like a spine bust. Oh. And Polly B. Oh. Going for that finisher, oh. it is. Uh oh. Oh. The Annihilator. This match and is now. over. Hoodlum going to the top. Huge, huge flying elbow. That's got to be it. One, two, three. Ah, it's over. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners the team of Hoodlum and Anaya, the Left Coast Gorillas. The Gorillas pick up a big. Seven point victory. Big time victory by the Gorillas. And it just doesn't look like Paulie B and Larry Vitavi are, are pushing at this point. Not quite on the same page. Not getting along. Well, we have more charge action come. The Lockheads will be in action next. would like to acknowledge Phil White and PRW Projects as the official graphic design company of NRW Sports Entertainment, specializing in custom artwork, creative and graphic design, and the highest quality promotional materials. The following is the Lockheads match schedule for one fall. Introducing first, from Denver, Colorado, Angel Trinity! And here we are, back on our NRW charge with Lockheads action, and Angel Trinity is Waving at my uh, my co-host right now, Daisy Doyle has joined me on commentary. Welcome, Daisy. Welcome back from your concussion. And her how was the head for this yeah. evening? It's better. I've been medically cleared. I'm good to go. Well, that's good. 
And uh, it's, it's good to have you back. From Shadow Hills, California, Ella Snor! Two, two ladies that don't, don't like the Doyle family and especially you, Daisy. They, no, they, they hate you. Um, yeah, they've, they've tried to take you out of action. The English turned a couple of times and taken off that headgear and uh, putting you into some situations in the past. This is an interesting matchup between these two. Both of these have an attitude, both of these ladies are, are both kind of think that they are the, the queens here in NRW. But, spe and, but speaking of, uh, of somebody who thinks she's the queen, we haven't seen Nikita since she's attacked you uh, a few months back. I, I really do not understand why she attacked me, why me, why not, why is she attacked me. I think she was trying to make her uh, message crystal clear that she doesn't like that you guys are trying to have a, uh, the women's division in our WC. She, she believes that she is the women's division uh, in progress. Well, there's one. Two. We're all here. We're all trying. Three. She doesn't like it. I mean, yeah, she can take us out, but we're going to come back. Well, right now, Angel Trinity, she's got the upper hand. Punch in the belly! Like one for it. Oh, beautiful suplex. You gotta give it up to Angel Trinity. She's been very successful so far. She's been successful. Gets. She's, she's, gotten, she's done some pretty good stuff, but she's pretty good at rain. And, and she is an NRW's resident team. I mean, she, she's, she's got a nasty good. attitude. She's very good. And, oh, scoop slam. There's cover. One. One! She's I doing just fine, Mr. Red. She's doing. Uh, Lawrence Ritz, executive director of Internet Television Production, tried saying that. At Another cover attempt by Angel Trinity. And it's been all Angel Trinity so far. She's got to get some offense. <laughs> Oh, yeah. yeah. Punch in the gut. I know that feels. That does not feel. Everything she does is has nasty intentions. Oh, that oh, takes a tumble to the outside. Nice counter by Ella. I don't know if that was intentional or not, but got her to. Got, got some breathing room, anyways. Oh, the right to the attack once again. Angel Trinity. I don't know how to do Oh, but able to get out of the way. Roll up attempt. One, two, schoolgirl roll up. Oh, and now one, one for a suplex. Oh, kind of a, that kind of block there. Surfboard maneuver. Oh, that's stretching that back. This is a submission hold. What do you say? Do you get? Do you get? Do you get? Do you get? She gives up. That's it. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Angel Trinity. Yeah, big victory. At oh. Hey, Angel Trinity doesn't like anybody. I don't think. Big victory by Angel Trinity. Well, Daisy, glad to see that you're doing okay. Can't wait to see you in future action here in the NRW Lockheads division. Good luck. Thank you. We'll be back. More NRW Charge main event still to come. NRW would like to thank Bout Time Pub and Grub, proud sponsor of NRW, located in Sheridan, Colorado's newest sports pub, serving you the best pub-style food and drinks.
NRW would like to thank Lady Luck Tattoo for being an official sponsor of NRW Sports Entertainment. Lady Luck is a clean and professional establishment with amazingly talented artists and piercers. Located in Aurora, Lady Luck is the place to go for any new tattoos and piercing. NRW would like to thank Shea L as an official sponsor of NRW. Located in Lakewood, Colorado, Shea L features a variety of services to suit any need, including hair, nails, wax, skin care, and tanning at affordable prices. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, welcome my guest. He is the longest reigning NRW champion in the history of this company. No, this man, he is Danger Dean. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be blessed with a special interview in ring with Lucas Bradwell and Danger Dean. Seems to be a crowd favorite here in Fort Collins at the Qdoba Event Center. And this should be a good one. What questions will Lucas Bradwell have for Danger Dean? Oh man, I can only, I just cannot wait to see this. Only on NRW Charge. Welcome, Danger. Thank you for joining me at this time. But I see that you are alone. There's no Sammy Six Guns. Where, where is your tag team partner? I, I know the ladies in the crowd are very upset about that. I'm, I'm very sorry. I'm so sorry. I know. He's actually off doing what he does best, and that's wear no shirt. He's being handsome somewhere else, handling dangerously handsome business, which leaves me in kind of a, a weird place, right? Like, yeah. we've, we've got the tag team tournament that we've been focusing on. We're like right there, right? We're gonna, we're, we're coming, I think we're in like third place. Third place right now, that's not bad. And of course, we're gonna be working on that, trying to, trying to increase our standings by uh, May 30th for Never Broken. Who's gonna be at Never Broken? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking. Best tag team in Colorado, baby! But like I said, it does leave me in a in a you know an interesting position. It's been a while since I've been to a show without Sandy Six Guns. And I'm thinking to myself, you know, I'm I'm watching this French fry backstage yeah, French toting around this belt. And I'm thinking to myself that it's it's probably good for him that I'm so focused on the tag team champions because I, I might just hit up Titus Machiavelli's big fat office door and try to get myself a tag team championship. But like I said, luckily for the French fry, I don't know what we are witnessing here, ladies and gentlemen, but here comes the NRW champion, Stefan Lacroix. What does he have to say? Well, apparently our NRW champion, Stefan Lacroix, did not like the comments of Daniel Dean. Crowd is not feeling him here in Fort Collins. Well, champ, uh, I guess I must ask, what, what brings you out here? This is something that is earned, not given, Danger Dean. First of all, first of all, Frenchie, you're interrupting my ring time. This is my ring. No. Well, maybe, maybe you and I should properly introduce ourselves. My name is Danger Dean. Yeah! 
Hashtag 463. Hashtag longest reigning NRW champion. Hashtag meet the bar, French fry. So what do you say? What do you say? Why don't you put that little belt on the line? I'll punch you in your teeth so hard, your mama's gonna speak English, son. Are we, are we gonna have a championship wow. match here tonight, champ? We. You're looking at the new we, bar. We, yeah, we, yes, we, he said it. We're gonna have an NRW championship match. We got the wee wee chant going here in Fort Collins. Uh oh, here comes wait, wait, the commission. Wait, 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 wait. Are we having a championship uh -oh. match tonight? No, 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 no. I did not create the shut up! I am speaking! Getting crazy. Are, are we gonna have a match or not? No, we are not having a match. Actually, I, I don't mean to cut you off, big boy, but the, the book that I gave you, you know, a few months ago, the, the NRW rule book. Funny to me that you don't read something that I gave you. I gave you a piece of literature, man. You didn't even read it. In NRW, a verbal contract is just as good as a written contract. So ring the bell and get ready. You're looking at the next wow. NRW champion. At there you, you have, have it. About that, Commissioner Titus. How many you have yes, sure. you're right. You're right. We're going to have ourselves an NRW championship match. There you go. But since, but hey, hey, Dean, you might want to pay attention to this because I'm not speaking big words. Ooh, You're right. Brutal. But as commissioner, I get to set the, uh, the stipulation. And this is a triple threat. Bring out me, Eric Angel, right now. Get in here. Championship match. And did you just hear that? We have a triple threat match. A triple threat match is our main event here on NRW Charge. I was getting a little worried there, a little nervous that things were going to explode while I was in the ring. NRW three-way dance triple threat match for the title. This is great. Well, that is great TV. I will give you that. I got a little nervous. I was getting a little a little worried for myself in the ring with that combustible element. Well, you know, Danger Dean, you know, he might have been a great champion. How many days do you hold that thing? Uh, 463 days. You know, and arguably he does have the greatest race for radio ever. But, you know, now he finds himself in the ring. Well, I will tell you that he was uh, featured on a uh, featured in an article as one of the sexiest men in radio, to be honest. I, I, Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a triple threat match for the NRW Championship. Introducing first, from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 190 pounds, the Canadian Pitbull, Eric Angel! There's a man that would like nothing better than to make his mark here in NRW by becoming the NRW and champion. His opponent, from he Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 180 pounds, Danger Dean! Talked his way into this title shot, and Mr. Machiavelli, let's just say he, uh, he counted off. Well, he's he's basically Titus Machiavelli's uh, And his opponent. He's his enforcer, his thug. From Paris, France, weighing in at 200 pounds, he is the NRW champion, the French Revolution, Stefan Lacroix! Let's, let's, let's be honest. He's here to make sure that Stefan Lacroix walks out the NRW champion. We, we know that's what this is. Eric Angel is in there. Of course. He's, he's, he's on the payroll. I'll hold that. Commissioner Titus. He's a little angel. Your friend's toast. Yeah! Money. We are underway with this triple threat. You know that this, this is basically a two-on-one situation. This is not a handicap match. This isn't, this isn't a triple threat match. Charles Duffy, what do you think of this match? I think this is crooked action by Commissioner Titus, quite frankly. This is fraudulent TV. 
is what this is. What's, what's more cricket action? This is so-called uh, fraud of a triple threat match or the gauntlet match that Ronan's going to have to go through next week. Oh. <laughs> All right. Normally, this would be one of the greatest matches in Colorado wrestling history, but given the circumstances, this is not fair at all. exactly what this is. This is a two-on-one match. Is that up? Oh, look. Oh, D could steal it right Whoa. here. And this is first pin win. This is first. Yep, that's, that's right. Dean going wow. for a quick cover. Look at Dean, he is on oh, fire there. Oh, look at this. Look at that. Beautiful roll up. Man. Not bad wrestling for him, man. No. Yeah. Dean is so fast. Dean is very skilled in the ring. And has one half of Dangerously Handsome, as we heard earlier. Sammy Six Guns is taking a little vacation time. Can you imagine how, oh. Oh, oh my god. I dive to the outside. Dean might have bounced off the guardrail there. Oh, wow. Putting it all on the line is Danger Dean knows exactly what's on the line. Are we going to see Danger Dean take back the title here tonight? He could start a, he could start a new title reign, another 463 title reign. Oh, Even further. That would be something. Dean now there. Taking his liberty. We know he's, he's not opposed to getting physical on wrestlers. Oh, we know what can happen with Commissioner Titus out there, and it's nothing good. Yeah, and you need to you need to watch what you say too, Charles Duffy. Oh, I, I I'd like to see the ratings report. I'd like to see the Arbitron ratings on that. I'm not sure. Right. <laughs> Got him on that clipboard there. This is disgusting. You've got eyes. I see both glasses work, don't they? I see both men attacking a champion. Yeah. I don't see both men covering. When one man covers, we we'll see. We we'll see what this is all about. They're working on that arm. What is that for? They're working on the arm. No, what they're doing is they're setting him up for that French vice grip so exactly. step on the quad and put it on. That's what they're doing. It's obvious that's what they're doing. I've seen it enough times to know that's what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. We've seen this happen many times here, Mr. Ritz. Step on the clock. No, there's no such thing as psychics. Don't start. Well. Oh. He didn't look out of the way. He, he just. He just. Oh. And now there's a little tension. We know that, that we know there's been tension in the past between Eric Angel and stuff on the claw. They're not always on the same page. Eric Angel, who who cost the stuff on the claw, a free pass from getting out of Ronin. And he did. These guys have a history, and we might see it come down right here, but luckily they got back on the same page. Right back in for control. For them. Right back in control is step on the claw. Wow. French back elbows. Oh. Look at that. That was, that was a blatant closed fist. Where, where, where's the rule book? with the elbow, but. Where's the rule book? Oh. That is right. We have a great production staff. I can agree with that. Even after that inadvertent hit to the face, that these two are still on the same page because, because that guy is in control. That guy that's got the belt on his shoulder outside the ring. I'm talking about Commissioner Titus Markenville. Yeah, it's good. If you have anything to say about it's going to stay on step on the floor. There you go. Well, we already know that Danger Dean will be a great champion. He's the longest reigning champion in NRW history, huh? In now, history. Promotion throughout the territory and throughout all of North America. The man's held a lot of gold, Lucas Bradwell. None here in NRW thus far. International star. Wow. 
I think he's barking at you there. Conspicuous by his absence is Sammy Six Guns Jr. Well, let's dream a little bit, guys. Let's dream a little bit. Let's. Danger Dean does have a, a shot to win this title. Of course he does. And he can overcome the odds. Think about it. Not only will he be in on the ten, but he'll still be in line. He'll be on the tag team. He's about to gain some weight. Oh, look what we got here. Eric Angel accidentally just clubs Stefan Lacroix right in the face there. He might break down here. Oh, wow. Fighting back to Danger Dean. Fighting spirit. But relentless on the attack is Stefan. This is just an assault. Put together by our commissioner, Titus Machiavelli. Definitely orchestrated by the commission. Not fast in his life. Never. Oh, cover attempt. Oh, broken up. Well, dude, man. It's, see, it's obvious. It's obvious. Step on. There, there's no desire for it. He's giving him that French finger poke. Oh, wow. Oh. These guys are going at it. Going at it. And Commissioner Titus, this doesn't make Commissioner Titus happy at all. Oh, this is great. This is good TV, oh, Mr. Ritz. Double spear. Double oh, spear. Wow. Dean's got a chance to win it right here. New champion. Cover him, Dean. Man. Cover him. Oh, he's going in. We got a new NRW champion. One, two, oh. Oh, man, he's so close. Barely able to kick out. Oh, man. We're about ready to have a new, new champion and a new reign. That'd be something else. Dean looking very impressive in this matchup. Definitely holding his own against two men, though he shouldn't have to. The commissioner checking on the, his champion, Stephon Lacroix. Eric Angel and Dean battling out in the ring. Kick to the midsection by Eric Angel. Yeah, yeah here. Going for a suplex. Oh, oh Dean blocked it. Oh, roll up, roll up. Amateur style takedown. This could be a. Oh, he turned it into a submission hold. Oh, look at this. Almost a sort of anaconda vice type maneuver. Well, he made a move there Speaking by Speaking of, of yeah. never talking out. Oh, no. Oh! And we know that. That's it. He's setting him up for the French vice grip. Oh, can he? Is, is Dean going to tap out? Dean, the only man Dean's ever tapped out to before is Duff Doyle the, to the trailer. Hitch. That's the only time. That's the, hey, oh, tap out. I, I can't believe it. Dean tapped Ladies out. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner and still the NRW champion. Stefan Lacroix! just tapped out to the French vice grip. And Commissioner Titus, well, he's certainly happy. He got to keep his champion. And, well, there's a little, there's still some tension between Eric Angel and Stefan Lacroix. Almost, almost rubbing it in the face of Eric Angel and Stefan. Saying I'm the, I am still the champ. Oh, but well, look at that. How is how is Commissioner Titus able to keep these two on the same page? I don't know. Well, don't forget, next week Ronin will be involved in a gauntlet match to keep his number one contendership. And if he's able to survive, 
he goes on to never broken May 30th in Littleton, Colorado to take on the champion. Well, another great edition of NRW Charge from the Qdoba Bench Center. We'll be back here next week. Thank you, everyone. Good night.